Today I'm going to be doing a video in comparison on the official Robofish toy line by Zuru and the fake Robofish that I bought on Amazon. So I'm going to be doing a side-by-side side side comparison visually and show you all the details of each different version we got here and then I'll show you both of them in the water. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the official Robofish. I picked these up at Target each for about $8.00. I think it was a little over eight bucks. Um, not that bad. I know CBS has them for like 10. So yeah, I think on Amazon they're even cheaper, but I just found these three. These are three colors I do not own yet. Um, this is probably my favorite of the three. It's like a goldfish. We have a pink one here. These are all part of wave three of the color changer ones. The ones that uh, change color when you put them in water which is the newest series of Robofish from Zuru. Um, so yeah, we'll start, we'll start blue. So to open these, just peel little, it's kind of hard, but you just peel little tape here on either side. And then you pop it open. Like so, comes out. And then you just here is the dark blue colored version. Very nice. There's instructions as well in the box. I've used these a lot of times, so I don't need to use them. But here is the second one. This one is pink. The goldfish one, I think it is. So it looks like it's what I'm gonna call it. Here's the goldfish. Looks very nice. Those are the official Robofish from Zuru. Now let's look at the off brand Robofish and see how they compare to the real deal. There they are. Oh wow, this one is... I have actually have this color in the official Robofish. I'll be actually be able to show you that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you each of them individually. I brought out my official Zoo Robofish, the yellow one, just side by side. This one's obviously really worn out. It still works. This was actually my first Robofish ever, and it's still going strong, surprisingly, years later. There's the side-by-side -side comparison. You can clearly tell that this was knocked off of this one. Tail's different color, and it actually looks a little different to the molding. It's probably easier to see on like this one. Um, also, these ones, tails come off. The official ones do not. They used to, like this one does but the newest releases of the official ones, the tails are actually not able to come off, but they do on these ones. Here's the official dark blue fish. Oh, wow. That, that moves differently. And I guess only at one speed, or the batteries are low. Oh. That's very interesting. Look at, does this one do it too? That one does it too. So I guess the series three ones, look at how fast this one moves in comparison. They actually slowed down the speed of the tail. Wow, that's very surprising. Anyways, um, where these ones are extremely fast and these ones all light up red. I wish they'd differ the light colors, but. So the molding is not the same, but very similar. They use a different transparent material. Looks like the battery cover might be a little wider on the knockoff. 
Um, let's see. I'm just trying to see any noticeable. The circuitry is in the same spot. The knockoff one, can't really tell, but see how the official one has much larger, like, I think magnet or like, yeah, magnets on either side of it. The knockoff just has, it's very small. So it's not as strong as a tail compared to this. This is a much stronger tail. That's very interesting. So, um, yeah, it's all just visual differences. And then I do think the official is a little bit heavier, which it needs to be in order to dive properly. And the, I think the lack, the flimsiness of this tail just um, is going to cost, it's not gonna go as deep as the official one. This one I think looks the worst. <laughs> It's got the pink tail, it's got the blue. I wonder if I could actually put this tail, like make these look a little bit better, like put his tail there, like that makes better sense. Um, put one of the blue tails on here, so that makes sense. And then this one just kinda, the standalone, so I just, I know that's, I mean these are knockoffs, so I don't really care about orig them being original. But I think that looks, I think this looks more pleasant. Blue goes with blue. And then, yeah. I love the color schemes of the official ones. Looks really cool. And these white, the white, like the scales, put them in cold water, it'll change color. In water, it's like color changer, basically. It's very cool. So I have lots of fish here to demonstrate for you guys. So let's go ahead and get these in the water so you can see the differences in how they swim. And then one more thing, all the knockoffs light up, all of these versions of Robo, the newer versions, the version of Robo fish you can purchase in stores right now do not light up. But the ones that do, what I hate about the knockoffs is no matter what speed the tail's moving at, the light just blinks continuously. No matter how slow or fast it's going. But with the regular one, with the, the official one, the light will actually blink in sync with the tail. And like when it goes slower, it starts to fade. Batteries are a little low, so that's why it's dimming a bit. But they actually tried to sync it, which makes a lot more sense. And I like it a lot more than the knockoff ones. I think the reason, I don't know why they did away with the light. I think it was just because it's not really realistic because fish don't have lights in them naturally. Um, I think I think that's why they did away with them, but I, I'll include this guy in the testing for reference um, to show you. I, I I know he wasn't in the unboxing, but he is basically the what this was knocked off of, and um, yeah, just to compare the LED to the other ones. Also, I didn't know how I didn't notice this, but there came with actually spare batteries, which is nice, and like these little aquatic plants. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I don't know how these are gonna stand up in a aquarium, in like, in your in your makeshift fish tank, but, I mean, the batteries are nice. I'll take extra batteries, but. Um, yeah, I do appreciate that on from the knockoff side. All right, it's time for the test. Um, I'm going to be taking a bath shortly after this, so I figured before I get in, I will do the demonstration of the real Robofish first. And then I will show you the demonstration of all the fake ones here to compare how they swim and just how they function generally. So I'm going to start with the three new ones and then I'll introduce the LED one. As you can see, they dive pretty deep. This one might have some air bubbles. Some of them have air bubbles. See, now he's diving a little better.
They actually do dive pretty well. This one's got some bubbles as well. Come on, focus. Get all in here. As you can see, the official ones swim exceptionally well. I will now introduce the fake ones to the mix. These all have the red LEDs and they're easily distinguishable. Last one, I've introduced all of the fish to the tub here. Let's see if I can raise this a little bit here. So you can see a little better. The fake ones are all of the ones with the red LEDs and the official ones are this yellow one right here and then that one, this one, and this one. And I'll just kind of let them swim for a little bit. Um, as you can see, they do all swim kind of well. I mean, obviously the knockoffs are, they're, they, they do swim a little bit, but for the most part, they just kind of stay in the center, but they do kind of get going every once in a while. It's not the worst I've seen. Let's see, here's one of the fakes. This one, just see, this is what they do. They just kind of I mean, that one dives really well. That's my first ever robo fish right there, the yellow one. I do like that blue a lot. I love the orange. All the colors of the official ones are so nice and detailed and there's one of the fakes and as you can see the normal ones they have all three these three have stopped as you can see because they stop after a given duration Get that one going again they have little magnets in the tails i don't know if you can tap these ones to wake them up i don't think so no you cannot so once they stop, you have to remove them. And then see the, the yellow one just did it too. So once they stop, you just take them out of the water, um, dry them off a bit here, and then come on. There we go. And then drop them back. And I'll just leave this set up and so you can watch the comparison of how the fakes and the knockoffs swim. I mean, not the, the fakes and the official ones. Make a note that all of the official ones are diving right now at the bottom, and all the fake ones are at the surface right now. <laughs> 